Hi, I'm Adam Mattis with Sterling Machinery Exchange here in South El Monte, California. We're just 20 minutes east of Los Angeles, California, with over 1,500 new and used machine tools in stock, such as presses, shears, grinders, lathes, milling machines, saws, and much more. Today we're going to show you a very nice machine. This is a standard shear, has a quarter inch capacity, over a full 12 foot, has a lot of nice options. We're going to go ahead and walk through them with you. First you'll see a very nice long squaring arm. It's going to have two supports. And if you look inside here, you'll notice there's a light beam. You could do that for your manual scribing. If you're having any scribing, you can see right where you're at when you put your piece in there. You'll notice it shines right on the, on the piece. Very easy to see where you're at. One of the really nice features of this machine is a very late model machine. comes with a Siemens touchscreen controller. Uh, everything basically is, is working right off of here. You can program your different jobs in here as you see, uh, different positions. Right now we put a, a job in there, one job with four different positions. So it's going to advance to each position after each cut, which you can obviously save into here. A lot of nice time for production if you have to come back for the same job. You just come right back to it, put the job in. The back is going to go right to the exact position each time and you can go ahead with your production. You also have the blade in and blade out. This is going to control your gap and your rake. And what that'll do is with this little line right here, it's going to show you where you're at or what capacity you're going to cut. So if you're cutting quarter inch material, the gap of the shear actually has to open up rather than if you're cutting thinner material, which you can see 16 gauge, the gap would have to close in a lot closer to rub against it while it's making the cut. So this is going to do all the automatic changes for you. A lot of shears, mechanical or otherwise, you'd have different ways to change that. You'd have to wrench it down, check each side, make sure they're level. This one is really nice and easy. You just go ahead and push the button right to where you need it to go. Uh, we'll go ahead and cycle this a few times for you. So you have your full stroke. And right now the back gauge is actually moving to the next position, the third position on the program. After it's moved again, complete another cut. And the back gauge will now go to the next position, which is at about 10 inches, position number three. And our fourth cut is moving back out. Everything's really nice right here on the screen, really easy to see, tell you actually where you're at and the target. So it's on its way out to 25 inches. Right now you can see it's actually moving on its way out. As soon as it hits that 25, it'll get right on to it and we can go ahead and cut again. I'll go ahead and cut a piece of material for you. Let's see how nice this machine cuts. Push it right in there and you can see right where that line of the light beam lets you know just if you have any scribe lines. Really nice little feature. You don't really need it because you're going to have the back gauge doing most of the work. Go ahead and cut this. See, it's a very, very nice clean cut, no burrs at all on this. I'll pull it out, see if I can show it to you. So you can see, very clean, nice late model machine, ready to go. Right now, I'll just go ahead and cycle it a few more times, let you see the back. You see the back gauge moving in and out, and I'll let you know where it is in the position. So right now we're in position one and we're at 11 inches. We're gonna go ahead and make our cut. And the target now is 15 inches and you'll notice it's on its way back to 15 inches. 
You'll notice it calibrates itself right to get to that point, moves in and out just a little bit. You're already at the point and you move on. Right now we're at position two. We're gonna move now after that cut to position three, which has a target of 10 inches. We're bringing it down and now we're at 10 inches. We're gonna move to our new target of 25 inches. It's got a little bit of ways to go out from the 10 inches, but you'll see everything's moving really smooth, really quick and easy. You don't have to have an operator cranking any handles or doing any guesswork. It's pretty much there for you in the, in the job. And we're at position four. We're gonna be at 25 inches. This back gauge is so nice, it actually allows even if you have any offsets for uh, to make for absolute accuracy, you can program that in as well. Now we're at the last position, is 20 inches. And it's gonna move right back to where we started, back at 11 inches. Now, if you're interested in this shear or any other, we do carry many different types. This is obviously a nice hydraulic shear. We carry mechanical, new, used, foot, just about any type you need, give us a call at 626-444-0311. You can check out our website at sterlingmachinery.com. Thank you.
Sterling Machinery sells all types of metalworking, fabricating, and chip making machinery such as lathes, metal shears, press brakes, punch presses, punches, grinders, milling machines, saws, plate rolls, iron workers, inspection equipment, welders, and much more. Sterling Machinery is one of the largest stocking dealers of new and used machine tools in the United States. You can view over 2,000 machine tools available for inspection on our floor or visit www.sterlingmachinery.com to view all machine specifications, photos, videos, prices, and buyer's guides for all types of equipment. If you can't find the machine you're looking for, please give us a call at 626-444-0311 and our educated staff can find the right machine for you. Do you have surplus equipment for sale? From one machine to entire shops, Sterling Machinery buys all types of equipment. Please contact us today. Thank you and we hope to see you soon. To view more helpful videos along with how-to videos and machinery for sale, please visit www.machinerytube.com.